guys. Welcome back to another episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. Out here at a pond, kind of like a reservoir almost, that I've fished before in the past. So I fished here a while back. I believe it's been two years now. And I caught a uh, nice, nice five, five pound on a uh, Whopper Popper 90, the bone color for my kayak. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can see a little clip from that video. Or I'll leave that video in the description below. But anyways, don't have a lot of time. Right now it is 9.17. Need to get back to the house with the fam. I'm going to take the kids out to a little zoo today. In the meantime, I'm going to hit this water and see if I can catch some fish. Right now I got on the chat bait. I'm going to put on a big worm on my uh, heavy stick here. Chatterbait's on a medium heavy. Uh, NC Fish on was out here not long ago. I'll leave a link to his video that he uploaded this morning. He caught a nice three, three and a half pound out here on a black and blue buzz bait. Probably right here from this shoreline. So I figured, look, why not? I'll come out here and try it myself. So since we got a, lot, a little chop on the water, the wind's blowing towards the bank to my left I'm gonna start right here and then make my way around don't have a lot of time but I'm gonna see what I can get done here guys so bear with me as always like comment subscribe share these videos stay tuned all right get this stick out of the way that's the wind is blowing to my left I'm gonna cast this chatter right out there to my left let's see A lot of wind. Which hopefully the bait fish are getting pushed up. On the bank. Excuse the noise, we are out here by the airport, RDU. Raleigh Durham Airport in Raleigh. Oh, I thought it was a fish. Oh, got yeah, inside there. Oh God, here we go guys. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, he almost got off. Oh. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Whoa, look at that monster. Right off of the bank he came. I gotta go get my scale. Gotta go get my scale for this one. <sighs> monster bass on the Chatter Bay. In skinny, shallow water. Oh, guys. Had to run back to the truck. Look at the size of that fish. I'm gonna get a weight on her right now.
5577 big fish big big fish check out guys try to bait doing work I'm gonna get a couple pictures and put it back guys Get her to dip back in the water. There she goes. Off she goes. Almost a six pounder. Five seven seven. Actually, the biggest one I've caught out. Well, actually, no, the biggest one I caught out here was five eleven. <clears throat> Now you got to track back right there to my, my gear. Catch another one. I'm way back over here. That fish had to be in no more than two, three feet of water. Right now here, I had to run all the way back to my truck, run as fast as I could so she could make it back in the water nice and safely. 5.77, <clears throat> almost five and a half. Nice size bass there. I don't even care if that's my only bite for the day, but still, works for me. And she came out right at the bank. I had to jump in there, not jump in, but stop her from getting away. She was nice and fat. Nice and fat, so get back down here. And continue to fish this shallow flat. This is the spawning area where they spawn in the spring. She's on shallow heat. So guys, stay tuned. Get back out here. Uh, hopefully catch another one. I swear if I catch another one of those that size, I'm just gonna pack it up and go home. Maybe. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go over what my game plan was today and what I was using. <clears throat> so for one, as you can see, there's a lot of wind blowing. I started way down on this end down here, but you can't see the big bush in the way, but I figured there's a lot of wind that should be hitting moving, bite, moving baits and based off of uh, what NC Fish on told me, he caught one on the buzz bait early, early this morning. So that's a moving bait and they're eating top water. So I figured they would eat my chatter bait. And all of, if, if all else fails, I would fish my <clears throat> big worm here. So I flipped that a couple times around, caught nothing. I fished all the way around to the shallow flat where they spawned in, in the springtime. Let me get out of the wind over here. <clears throat> and I think it was maybe my second, maybe third cast with the Z-Man Project Z chatterbait with the gold blade here in the front with a Bass Assassin trailer here. Actually, let me pull that packet out and show you guys exactly the color I was using. There we go. Elite Shiner Bass Assassin. That's what I was using. I've been using that for a few weeks now. Really starting to get on this chatterbait bite and it's been working out great, guys. Excuse the noise, we got more planes coming through. <clears throat> but like I said, my game plan was to fish moving baits in the wind, fishing in the wind, fishing this windy bank. I only got one bite, one catch. And honestly, I didn't set the hook as hard as I should have. But she came off right at the bank right over here. And I had to get in there and grab her my hand to get her and stop her from swimming off. And then after that, I had to run back to my truck really fast and grab my digital scale here. Digital grip scale. And it also has a tape measure right there. Nice scale here. Go tour. So, anyway... I was using a seven foot three medium heavy and this is the arid x in daiwa with a daiwa exceller slow gear ratio i believe is six three to one i like a slow gear ratio when i'm cranking or using 
swim baits or chatter baits even that I don't want to use I don't want to burn it back I want to give them a good time to, to catch up to it and eat it good but that was my game plan for today one bite one catch five almost five and a half pound bass can't beat that guy so as always like comment and subscribe share my videos in the comment section below let me go let me know what you guys would like to see next some challenges or anything like that or any type of video i'm willing to try to produce for you guys so anyway always as always like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next episode of east coast bass fishing peace